St. Mark's Episcopal Cathedral is a landmark in the shreveport Bossier community. For decades, this congregation has stood as an example of a ministry that answers a call, a call to spread the gospel, a call to educate our children in the Christian faith, and a call to prepare a way for future generations with a commitment to be faithful to the legacy received from others. Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. I believe that is our goal of the stewardship of the next generation of disciples, that we are seeking to prepare the way for those who will follow us. St. Mark's is an embodiment of the Christ reaching out, I believe. It, it's a very caring community. It is so open and it is so loving and kind to anyone who comes through those doors, whether they're a member or not. They judge you how you act instead of um, what you look like. I really like that. It is truly a beacon on a hill for many people who don't go to church here, who come for help, and our doors are open. And I'm just so proud to be a part of it all. It's easy to see why St. Mark's Cathedral is such an iconic fixture on the landscape of the city. Completed in 1959, the cathedral's grand architecture inspires awe and reverence from all who enter. But it's more than just a magnificent building. This facility was always a big part of my life. My parents died in a plane crash when I was 10, and I could come into St. Mark's, particularly the nave, and be here and just experience a safe place for me. It was really this building that embraced me. So I f always felt very connected to the physical structure of St. Mark's. It's the, truly the only place that I can be where I have complete peace. This whole facility is really priceless. The old adage is they don't build it like this anymore couldn't ring any more true. I mean, what a wonderful legacy for us to leave, to take care of what we have, to embellish what we have, and take care of everything for the future. We have 60 years of tremendous uh, ministry and evangelism that's gone on through the school, and I would like him to think about the next 60 years. We all will look back and think that we helped build something really amazing, and we got to be a part of something really amazing. It's more than just a school to me. It's more than just desks and chairs. It is a true family. It's a true loving environment. It's carrying Christ's mission out in our world. Now what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to pray, to consider the blessings that God has given you. And I'm asking you to give sacrificially, and more importantly, to give joyfully to this campaign. We're gonna show this city, and we're gonna show our school parents and we're going to show ourselves in the church that we actually mean what we say when we say that we seek to serve God in all things. Mm -hmm.